So guys, this is our last week in August and that just completely blows my mind, but I'm really looking forward to September. And write in the comments what you're really looking forward to in September, whether it's candles or campfires or anything like more autumnal. Okay, so I would love to know that, but let's go ahead and get started on what it is that's in my August favorites. One of my favorite fragrance brands is Lil Labo. There's several reasons for that. I just love the fact that every single scent that they have is something that I can wear and even Zach can wear, or like if he gets one that's more on the cologne side, I can steal it and put it on myself. So that's just been something that Zach and I have both worn for like over a year. He loves the vanilla one, by the way. If you're looking for like a really good one to get, he loves that one and I love to wear it too. They have something really cool going on through the month of September. So they let me try out some of their fragrances from their city exclusives line. So Labo has created different fragrances for every city that they have boutiques in, and it's very exclusive. So if you go to a New York City boutique, you can only find X fragrance. And so it's really special. During the month of September, they launch all 11 of their city exclusives available online. So you can buy any of these right now so this is an example of their discovery set. They've picked out their top five that they want to feature and then inside it's just got these little samples here that you can try. I brought these with me on vacation. I asked around to family. I asked around to friends. I like got people's opinions on which ones that they loved the most. And the one that really hit home with me the most is the Musk 25. That one is very like powdery almost and it's very clean smelling and before asking anybody their opinion I actually got the most feedback on wearing this one like oh I love your perfume what is it it stayed with me a long time meaning after a couple hours people could still smell it so that was really cool so Lilabo actually let me choose which one was my favorite and they sent me the full size bottle of it the 50 milliliter and so I went with the musk because it was just so amazing. It was definitely my favorite. And it's the Los Angeles fragrance. So for size reference, this one is the 50 milliliter. And so that's 1.7 ounces. So yeah, I loved it so much. So a lot of you guys have been writing me DMs and everything about vegan options for bags. And simultaneously, the brand Angela Roy reached out to me because they have vegan bags. So I thought it'd be a perfect chance for me to tell you guys about them. I was looking for a really chic bag that was more like handheld. And I love like my crossbody, I like my functional ones, but I wanted something that would be a little bit more formal for when I just really want a chic bag. They sent me this one, they let me choose which one I wanted and this one was beautiful. I love this like accordion style. I love that it's not too overwhelming. It's something that will fit a lot of stuff in it, but it's still very small compared to my body frame. It's got a detachable strap, so if I really want it to be a crossbody bag, I can have it be. But then it's also got this beautiful like gold zipper on it, and then it's got technically like three compartments and a couple little pockets inside too. So I've just been really impressed with this and it's gonna be great for when I have more formal events or date nights or anything like that. Plus when it arrived, it came in this really beautiful little bag. So I'll probably find a way to use this for something like storing belts in it or something like that. I can totally do that. So I haven't gotten to feature these next couple of fashion pieces yet because they just arrived like last week. I love the brand Cezanne. I just can't ever find anything in my size very often. So when I found these ones, I just had to snag them. The first one is a cami. I believe it's called the Sorel Top. And it comes in different colors, but I went with the blush color. That seemed to be the best for like my skin tone and what's in my closet already. And I think that this will be really pretty to layer with. It's a little bit on the see-through side, so I definitely would wear my nippies. They're like covers that are adhesive, and I can link those down below for you guys too. And then the other one is this Casey jumper that is just really beautiful. I love the like muted pink tones in it, and it's actually got this beautiful, for lack of a better word, it's it's sparkly. <laughs> it's just got a really beautiful like metallic thread throughout the whole thing. And I know that this will be something that I can wear at like Thanksgiving and like more holiday type of festivals. So yeah, I think it'll be really great for the next few seasons. And it has an open weave and like a boat neck. So I'm really loving this thing so much. If you like this one though, you'll definitely have to check on the website soon because I think there's only like one size left in this. 
So this next beauty related item, I just have one to share with you guys today, which is this MAC makeup remover wipes. So I actually picked them up in the Chicago airport because I was on the way to vacation and I knew I didn't have a way to remove my makeup and it was like a last minute thing. So I was kind of in a pinch. It was kind of perfect because even though we were just glamping, I was bringing some makeup with me and I knew that it would just be a mess. I asked the girl at the, ma the MAC makeup counter, like, what do I do? And she was just so excited about these and I was like, okay, <laughs> I guess I'll get them. <laughs> and so I was actually really happy with how it worked. There's 30 in a pack. They do come in a pack of 100, which saves you a little bit more money if you really like them. So for like a month's worth of these, I spent like 12 bucks on them. They really did remove all of my makeup and it also gave my face a sheen to it like it, it seems to do a little bit of exfoliating I think it says online it has vitamin E in it so yeah that was what the girl at the counter was just so excited about is the fact that it just made her face glow after it and it's really good for my lips too I noticed so yeah I wanted to share them with you guys today because I was just super happy with them and it was so accidental it was just weird <laughs> So another thing I accidentally found on vacation were these little sleep supplements. They're called Good Day Chocolate. This one is their sleep supplement. They actually come in different ones like Energy. I think there's a turmeric one. Basically they're M&Ms with a dietary supplement in them. So the sleep ones have one milligram of melatonin per piece. And it's got this little chart on the side that says how much sleep do you need? So if you want like maybe enough, then you get one. Or if you wanna be out like a light, then you take four of them. So so I bought these and I used them all up so I actually bought some more because I thought they were so cute. I can't say for sure if they really knocked me out but I definitely was extremely tired after I took them. <laughs> so. If nothing else, they're really cute M&Ms you're excused to have before bedtime. So the next like dietary supplement that I got that was really fun is just some herbal tea that I picked up. I wanted one that was a blend of spearmint and licorice. And so this one has that plus white peony and green tea in it. I bought this off of Amazon and I was super happy with just how it tasted. I've had one cup every single morning this week. It says that there's different benefits that it has for your body with it. It says that it can help with things like controlling your acne or like facial hair or any sort of like extra hair growth. It also says that it has like digestive and immune health benefits too, which spearmint is just so good for like if you have a little bit of an upset stomach or anything, it just calms things down is to have peppermint or spearmint. So I'm not like a health expert by any means, but one thing that I was trying to do in my own body is like lower testosterone levels and there's some supplements and food that you can have that can adjust that. And so this one has the spearmint and licorice root that I was looking for for that. At the end of the day, it's just an amazing tea blend that I get to have every single morning. And I like that it's a loose leaf tea. It feels like more of an experience making my tea every morning. Also, if you're not like a loose leaf tea fan, they also have some tea bags. So that's just really great and more convenient. So the next couple of pieces are ones I've mentioned in last week's video, which I'll leave a link for you guys to see. They're really good and I wanna talk a little bit more about like the technical side of why I like them. So first is the Kate Nelson watch. I've been wearing this quite frequently, like almost every day. I love the fact that there's like no numbers on it at all. It's very just a minimal feel. They stamped on the indicators where the numbers go, which is super helpful. And it also goes really well with all of my other brass and gold jewelry. I've been learning a little bit more about like what's cool about how it's a mechanical watch that has more of an analog feature on it. So it's not using a ton of like power or gadgets. It's really just something that's very like Swiss made, beautiful. And that's the extent of my knowledge about watches, but this one has been really beautiful to wear. And next, you guys know how giddy I've been about my Majuri bracelets, but I just love how dainty they are. And they're also made out of really high quality products. So like this one, this Spheres bracelet is solid gold. And then this one is a yellow gold that has sapphires on it, which is the mini Lotus bracelet. And they're both adjustable, which has been 
such an amazing thing because I have smaller wrists, like they're incredibly small. And so it's hard for me to find bracelets that will fit and stay on or not be like awkwardly too long. So this was really great. I think it'll be great too because they are adjustable. You could pass them down. It could be a family heirloom piece. I've been really excited to wear them and it's just a very small detail that adds a lot to my everyday look. So that's pretty much it for my August favorites. And let me know in the comments as well what it is that is your favorite out of these and I will see you guys on Wednesday.